in the distance the town of Terracini. The sea is all important here. Most of the people are fishermen and get their living from the sea. It's a very picturesque place, isn't it? Yes, it is, but uh, life, I'm afraid, isn't too picturesque. It's rather lean and difficult. The fishermen work very hard for very little. The best they can earn on those good days when fish are found is about one dollar, and good days are not too frequent. Tradition is uh, very important here. There are old and rigid ways of doing almost everything, uh, as old or older than the town itself. Our Terracini courtship began on a Sunday and uh, continued on Sundays, since that's the day when young people can encounter each other. Here's how a courtship proceeds. The girl in the center of the group is Teresa, and for many Sundays now, she's had an admirer. There he is, in the white shoes, Carlo. He's a young fisherman. Teresa finds an excuse to loiter and let Carlo know she's aware of his interest, but only for a second, and then she hurries on, and he follows with a friend. Yes, that's the form in this part of the world. Both the boy and the girl will have a confidant, someone they can talk to about their love, since they can't talk to each other at this stage. Teresa immediately goes to a window overlooking the street so she can once again uh, demonstrate her response to Carlo. There she is, peeking out. All very romantic. Very formalized, too. The uh, boy and girl follow very precise procedures. Uh, so do the neighbors. Uh, they pretend innocence, but they know quite well a romance is blooming. Teresa's family at Sunday dinner. Also innocent on the surface, but quite aware that Teresa has an admirer. Oh, yes. Why wouldn't the family be openly interested? Well, it would be bad form to even recognize the situation at this stage, because Carlo hasn't formally declared himself. You see, uh, Teresa's sister is less discreet. This is a matchmaker, uh, but not a professional one. She's an older married woman who was a friend of Carlo's family. Is she going to propose for him? No, not really. She's a go-between. Yes, uh, Carlo wants to know more about the girl and have her know more about him. Oh, I see. He wants to know whether she's ever been engaged. Because uh, if so, he probably would drop her. Really? Yes, Sicilian men expect to be first loves. He wants to know, is she interested in him as he is in her? Mm -hmm. And once these questions are... Uh, settled to his satisfaction and to Teresa's, then they can decide on the next step of openly meeting. It would be so much simpler to size each other up in person and, and a lot more pleasant. Yes, but in a society where propriety and reputation are jealously guarded, this is the more discreet and traditional way. Well, she's a beauty, isn't she? Yeah, I fancy she could take her pick of the town bachelors. Matchmakers assured Carlo that uh, uh, Teresa is all she should be. Uh, he has her approach the girl directly and ask her if she would permit Carlo's attentions. As you can see, uh, Teresa is pleased with Carlo's declaration and she agrees. and speak to each other. But at quite a distance, and in public. And with a chaperone. I expect that treats his mother in the doorway. I think so. Uh -huh. uh, when Carlo and Teresa are certain of their feelings, their fathers are informed, and if they approve of the courtship as they did, then it enters a more serious stage. Does this mean they're engaged now? No, not yet. There isn't any formal commitment on either side, just an understanding. For Teresa and Carlo, there ensues a long period of working and waiting and yearning for the day when they can be formally engaged. Well, now, why the delay? They've made their choice, haven't they? There can be many reasons. 
families may be too poor to consider marriage, or they may doubt that the couple are truly serious and sure of their love, Carlo might have to still do his uh, military service. Mm -hmm. There can be many reasons, mostly uh, family caution and tradition. Poor Teresa. At least they can get a little closer to each other. <laughs> but always with a chaperone. When will they ever be able to be alone? When they're married. Not before. Well, I think that's terrible. Actually, Carlo and Teresa didn't have to wait too long. Their families uh, favored their marriage, and the two fathers came to fairly quick agreement on questions of where the couple would live, uh, who would give them what, uh, linens, furniture, and living space. No dowry of any kind? No, both families uh, contribute what they can afford. Ah, this situation will please you, Miss Dunt. Our lovers do manage to steal a few unchaperoned moments, usually late at night when the town's asleep. And in the traditional Sicilian fashion, Carlo tells Teresa how madly he loves her, how he constantly thinks of her, and how beautiful she is. Finally, the day comes when the courtship ends and the formal engagement takes place. There's a gathering of both families at the girls' home. Everyone dressed in their best and very jolly. The future bride gets acquainted with her future mother-in-law. Very modest refreshments are served, a few sweet cakes and some wine and brandy, nothing grand. These are poor people and they can't afford lavish entertainment. The women gather to inspect Teresa's trousseau, all made with their own hands. Teresa's mother is quietly proud of her daughter's work. And one very young relative rests from the festivities. <laughs> An omen of the future, perhaps. <laughs> the men seem to be doing all the feasting. Yes, this is very characteristic here as elsewhere. The men seated, the women doing the serving and minding the children. Well, finally, the high point in the party and a very proud moment for Carlo, the engagement ring which probably represents years of Carlos' savings. Uh, he's both very proud and a little nervous. Will the ring impress everyone? The ring is an important symbol, marking the commitment and signifying his opinion of Teresa and her family. And so it's important that everyone admire and approve the quality of the ring. Well, it seems to impress Teresa all right. Actually, Teresa's reaction is probably the least important of all. But she seems more than satisfied. There's a triumphant moment for a girl. And for the boy, too. He's a very lucky fella. Well, in that fairly casual manner, Teresa and Carlo are formally engaged, and the party breaks up. What, no singing, no dancing in Italy? They probably save it for the wedding. <laughs> when will that be? It varies. Weeks, perhaps years. The marriage now depends on how soon the families can accumulate household goods and the money for the wedding. In the meantime, the couple can walk out freely and openly. Shepherd.